The idea with this breath technique is to completely activate all of your body so that you can feel the energy and help to activate your Kundalini energy. I'm going to give you a quick explanation of what the Kundalini energy is. And that's an energy that spirals from the bottom of your spine all the way up and out your crown. When we have tantric or kundalini experience in joint union, we actually circulate that energy from our root chakra and our bottom of our pelvic floor all the way through. So shallow breathing is not going to help you to activate that energy and share it with somebody else. It's also not going to help you activate your own energy so that you can feel the full life force of your being. Most people tend to tighten and squeeze and contract their entire body instead of relaxing and opening and allowing that energy to flow. We tend to think that by holding on, we can try so hard to have an orgasmic experience. And although a certain amount of tension is important, it's actually having the reverse effect if we're closing off our bodies. That can be related to many beliefs, which I'm not going to go into now, but those limited beliefs that can cause us to go into some form of protection may cause us to close our body. Our bodies need to be open. They need to be flowing and they need to feel safe and secure and relaxed. This is one of the most beautiful ways to do that. I suggest practicing this on your own in a self-pleasure or self-intimacy practice and then trying it with a partner and breathing together. And even if that's sitting face to face without any physical touch, connecting breath and energy and seeing what you can feel and activate. So for my clients, what I want them to do before they have any massage therapy is to practice this breath work. This breath work will help to activate their body and ignite the muscle memory so that when they are receiving the tantric massage, they have more opportunity to get the most out of it and achieve an altered state of consciousness because they've already opened these channels, allowing the energy to flow, which can then help me to transmute my energy with them and help them to activate into an extraordinarily pleasurable once in a lifetime experience. So the first thing that we need to do is get the body relaxed. Now you can sit up like this, or you can lie down with your knees up and your legs slightly spread so that you can rock your hips. But what you will start with is taking some really deep breaths in through your nose and out through your mouth to the count of four with no stops in between. What this is doing is breathing air, oxygen and energy all the way down into my pelvic floor and up through my chakra system and out through my mouth. This is relaxing my entire sympathetic nervous system. So it's the best way to start is to do five or 10 minutes or even 30 breaths of this deep four in, four out breath. This breath is going to allow you to become more centered, connect into your heart and allow yourself to open and relax to receive. Then what you will do is you will follow after 30 breaths or five minutes of breath work, whatever feels comfortable for you, is what I call orgasmic bliss breath. It's actually mouth breathing. And the reason for that is that your jaw is relaxed and there is so much tension in the jaw that it doesn't allow the energy to circulate. With sound, you can also activate all the juicy sacral chakra energy 
and feel the pleasure start to move through your body. This is the important part of my tantric lingam massage or yoni massage. So when it comes to the groin and working on the pelvis in my massage, each client has to feel completely relaxed and safe but also have their sexual energy pulsating and running through their body. This helps to bring up the pleasure sensation and drop it down and bring it up and drop it down because you're breathing with the touch and you're allowing yourself to pulsate and move with the energy rather than keep it isolated so that you have a short sexual release. That will not create a full body orgasm. The breath is so important to move that energy through the entire body. I'm going to demonstrate this for you now. It's quite a pleasurable, sensual, sexual breath that just by hearing it can send some tingles through your body. You're breathing in through the mouth. As you can see, I am breathing the energy through the entire channel of my body. It's sending some tingles and um, pleasurable sensations down into my pelvic floor and my yoni, and it's moving them up through my body. And as I breathe, and the longer that I breathe this, with rocking, if you're choosing to lie down or even sitting up, sensual touch, you'll start to feel this energy increase through your body. So after you've done your relaxation breath, it's then time to practice the orgasmic bliss breath, which is breathing in through the mouth and out through the mouth. This needs to take place for a minimum of five to 10 minutes to start to activate and really bring the energy through your body and give your Kundalini the most chance to unlock and move. Ways you can help to increase this beautiful practice of breath work and start to stimulate those pleasurable sensations and unlock blocked energy is to put on a beautiful relaxation track, a sacral chakra activating frequency. I have one in, on my channel and I will link it in the description box below so that you can do your five minutes or 30 breaths of relaxation, four in and four out, nose and mouth breathing, followed by five to 10 minutes in minimal of the mouth orgasmic bliss breath, rocking, making any sounds as you breathe, whatever feels natural for your body. The more that you use your primal instincts, the more pleasure and sensation you're gonna get from connecting deep with yourself and then with another. Thank you so much for joining me today and learning the practice that I use with myself and my clients to create amazing altered states of expanded consciousness and to start to bring in greater union, not only with yourself, but with another. Thank you. I love you.